welcome you here to a big night of fights. I'm Joe Tessitore alongside my ringside partner. Looking forward to all the action today, and we're just about set for it. He's making his way to the ring right now, and you can just see in his eyes what his intentions are tonight. These ring walks have become the stuff of legend, and you can see the intensity on his face. at all times. Let's touch him up. Round number one is now underway. All the talk is done. It is simply time to fight. Off the mark. Good way to protect the midsection. <laughs> Halfway through round number one. Body shot, left hand. Well up top. Had there. his target in mind, but just missed. We count down the final moments of this round. End of the round. And this is a little bit hard to take if you're sitting back at home watching this fight and saying, I, I just don't get it. I mean, if you want to win the fight, you have to throw punches. Maybe he doesn't want to win the fight. See, you're taking for granted that... What, is he scared? He's fearful? Hey, everybody's scared. Anyone who's in that ring is scared. He's not controlling his fear. He's not taking it. And that's for people in all aspects of life, whatever they... You have to take whatever it is that can intimidate you, and you got to put it on the side and say, okay, right now, I'm not going to let that get in the way. He's letting it get in the way. That just missed. Scores with the uppercut. Oh, you see him with the left of the head there? Get 
halfway through round number two. Wow, is he defensively sound. That right hand serving well. Little head hunting with the left. Nice work with the overhand right. Early on in this fight, one of the things I'm going to look for is who's the more well-rounded fighter offensively? Who can do it all with all their punches? Well, you look for that in any sport, in any profession. You know, you look at a quarterback, you know, in football, the great ones, they can throw deep, but they can throw the short patterns. They can throw the out, the in patterns. Same thing with a fighter. Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. Ten seconds remaining in this round. End of the round. So Joe Tessitore and Teddy Atlas with you ringside. He just didn't throw enough, Teddy. I mean, you got to go out there and put something forth if you want to win the round. Hey, sometimes it's complicated. Sometimes it's pretty simple. You don't throw punches, you don't win fights. Okay. You're doing fine, but listen, we have to do more. We have to pull ahead this round, okay? I need more than one punch from you now. More than one. Good action here tonight. Both guys bringing their best, and both guys meeting each other stride for stride, punch for punch. Tough fight to score here as we're back underway. Tucks those elbows in, blocks the body shot. Now hugging on the inside. Not able to land the head shot. Overhand right can be so effective. He clearly came in with a strategy here tonight, Teddy, and so many times it's, hey, I'm going to bang that drum. Yeah, he is banging that drum. That drum happens to be the body, and he figures that he's going to try to move on him, so start doing it early on, and later on he's going to have a guy in front of him. Unable to land that shot. Not much action as he just ties up. Really on the mark with that over-the-top shot with the right hand. That's what I want to see. He scores with the left. Brings the hook that time. Ten seconds to go in this third round. Nice work, nice work. Don't get too close to this. All right, you want this fight? Because listen to me, man, you, if you want this fight, you got to stay busy out there, all right? Because you're losing this fight. Why? Because you're not throwing any punches at me. All right, let's look at Teddy's scorecard after three rounds, and you can see that he's up by just a round. But I think it's fair to say that it's anybody's fight at this point. Look at that. The hook came home with ease. Well, his opponent is opening up and coming forward, so I would think there are some opportunities that exist. Yeah, I think some counter-punching opportunities. Opportunities not on the front end, but on the back end. Back to the body! Oh, 
A well-targeted jab that time. And that's exactly what you need when you want to stay on the outside. Something to keep you away from your opponent. Well, he's throwing it, but just missed. Isn't landing it. You're doing great! Halfway through this round. Off the mark there. Keep it up. Keep moving. Keep moving. And he's holding. Didn't get it done going to the body there. Yeah, that's it. He's showing very good footwork. He's showing fine defensive movement here. But as for the opponent, how do you solve that? Well, you got to make believe you're a football player. You got to make believe you're a linebacker in football. You go down the line with that running back. You don't go following him around the place. You make sure you move laterally. That's exactly what he's got to do. He's got to cut that ring down. Take space away. You're stronger and you punch harder than this guy. Okay, relax now. How are you feeling in we this? Got it. Stay alert in there, okay? And with the start of this round, the halfway point of this fight. Halfway into round number five here. <laughs> Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. You got this one. That's okay, let's go. That shot unable to land. There you go. Final 10 seconds. Very nice work to the head. The right hand landed. And as this round comes to an end, Teddy, you just get the sense that at any point this fight could come to an end because it is being fought with bad intentions. Yes, these guys are not behaving like guys that are coming here thinking about going to the scorecards. They're letting everything go in every punch. Are you losing this fight? I need you to take some chances now. You have to take a chance with this guy, all right? The start of the sixth round. And now he's acting like a fighter. Coming back with the right hand after getting scored upon. He's tired. He's tired. 
You see him holding on. Here's something that's a key factor now, and that is his ability to simply defend himself. He's doing a wonderful job at it. Yeah, he is, and that gives him the ability to always be fresh and confident round after round since he's not taking a lot of punishment. Question becomes after that point. knockdown, and he has gotten up. How does he survive? So this is where instincts kick in. You got to start moving that head automatically right now. You don't want to stay in the middle. Just like that. Watch that. And now you can see him utilizing the jab. You know, a lot of times you see a guy on the outside bouncing around, staying away. You understand the use of a jab. But when you're coming forward, you have to come forward with a cover. And that jab, that's the cover. Boy, some of the old school guys would really appreciate this, wouldn't they, Teddy? Just great upper body movement, so elusive up top. Yeah, this is an example like they used to say in the old days. He stands right in front of you, and you can't hit him in the backside with a head full of bulk shot. Teddy, what advice would you be giving to this charge if you were training him, knowing he's coming off of a good, solid effort in that last round and likely is up in a close fight? Well, you know, sometimes I'm not sure what to tell a guy, but I know what not to tell him. I wouldn't tell him he's up. I wouldn't tell him to let up. That's one thing for sure. I tell him, keep doing the same okay. things you're doing. Stay okay. right with him. I need you to move this round, all right? Move. Muevate. He's going to come in swinging. He thinks you're still hurt. And he's going to look to finish you off. As he starts this fresh round, coming off a round in which he was knocked down, we often look at his legs. But sometimes even more telling was the disposition and the way that he and his corner acted in between rounds. Yeah, exactly. That's a good point, Joe, because if the corner's not confident, they're not calm. If they show panic, then, of course, a fighter absorbs that. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. Jump over him! You're doing great! Where's the body, kid? Body shots! Good effective work with that straight right hand. Sort of like a loaded gun, that straight punch there, Teddy. You can see him lining it up and then just releasing and hitting that trigger. Yeah, you're right. A loaded gun with a nice long barrel that makes sure that the bullet, in this case the punch, goes Stop. nice and accurate. It's all right. Straight ahead. that right hand he scores with. Well, you could see what he wanted to do there, but unable to land that body shot. Pace yourself. Beat him to the punch! Keep moving, keep moving. Ten seconds to go in the seventh. Final round. This is what champions are made of. If you don't throw punches, I'm gonna stop this fight. Now come on, keep throwing punches. Listen, I need to see some counter punches, okay? 
Whenever he misses, counter. Round number eight is underway, and Teddy, a chance to look at your scorecard. You got him up pretty good. We often use that word judicious in describing a fighter, of picking your spots and being effective when you do. Well, that's a good point, Joe, and that's exactly what he's doing. You know, he's making him do what he wants him to without even coming forward. You know, he's pushing him all over the ring, but not with any physical force, just by making sure that he controls the guy mentally, that he makes the guy feel a certain amount of pressure and makes the guy react the way he wants him to react. Just missed scoring with that punch. Work the body, kid. Body shot. Keep your head moving. There's a right hand. Really frustrating his opponent now, as he's so defensively sound, it doesn't make for an easy target. No, it doesn't, and it makes for a very frustrating night for his opponent. I see his opponent now, if you notice, he's getting a little tentative. He's afraid to let the punches go because when he misses, he's worried he's gonna leave an opening. And a right hand lands flush. Just a minute to go in this bout. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. <laughs> Ten seconds to go in this, the final round. That was good stuff throughout. Which way did the judges lean? Let's send it up to the ring to find out. A unanimous decision. Teddy, your scorecard falls in line, and everybody here in the arena knows exactly what happened tonight. Yeah, this was an easy one. I mean, I think that you would have had a big problem with the crowd, not to mention me, your broadcaster right here, if these judges gave it any other way. Thanks for being with us, everybody. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Have yourself a great night.